Right. Uh-huh. Okay, thanks. I'll talk to you later. Me finding other clues wouldn't be so easy. The only lead we have are, are that his name's Rasputin and that he's Russian. Ah, shit damn. Episode 4, The Case of the Missing Shipments. Hehehe, <laughs> hello, Mr. Narumi, and how are you doing, kid? It's not like you leave the shop, something's the matter. Well, you see, I have a problem, sorts. It's been some time since I last received any shipments. Out of stock, so you just place an order for more goods. Oh, how I wish it were something that simple. But we ordered my stock from Mr. Harada of the Harumi Cho. Lately, though, my shipments are from Haru... Oh, Dio. Okay, she's not eating a wire. Okay, good. <laughs> okay, anyways, back to our story. Lately, though, my shipments from Harada have been disappearing. I gave them a phone call and discovered Mr. Harada passed away recently. Very sorry to hear that, but I do have a more important detective work to get back to. Please send along our condolences, though. You must let me finish, Mr. Narumi. I came here for your service. Huh? My service? That's right, Mr. Harada's passing doesn't explain anything about the disappearing cargo, does it? They haven't stopped business. They keep shipping out product. <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> Yet, I don't have any merchandise. Does that seem ordinary to you? You should enjoy this one. Only Harada and Co.'s cargo is disappearing, and my associates have had that problem. The cargo's unloaded from the ship and then, poof, gone. So, what do you think? Well, the goods are clearly being taken at night after they're unloaded, or, but before that you come. That was my assumption as well, naturally. So I hired more sailors to stand watch over the shipment, intent on spotting the thief. But, all of a sudden, everything just vanished into thin air. And that's not just the cargo. Several of the sailors disappeared, too. Disappeared right in front of their fellow sailors. Interesting, isn't it? I'm listening. So, whether you care about saving my business or simply satisfying your curiosity, could you do something about this situation? Do something? What the heck am I supposed to do? You're a detective, aren't you? I'm sure you'll figure something out. Otherwise, I'll be forced to close down Konoya. And if that happens, you'll be affected too, am I right? Technically, yeah. Then we have a deal. I'm counting on you two. Fine. Hey, hold on a minute. You said Harumi Cho, right? As a matter of fact, I did. Well, that works out for us. Harumi Cho is the capital's largest seaport. Righto. I want you to investigate Harumicho and try to figure out this Kanaya Carbo Caper. Caper. <laughs> Carbo Caper. Oh my god. Cargo Caper. I G still can't talk. And while you're there, maybe ask some people about our Russian comrade, duh. I try working on my usual channels as well. Harumicho can now be reached from the main map. Hey everyone, Edgy Berserka here with. Ugh, just setting my remote down. <laughs> With uh, the Rido Kuznawa versus the Soulless Army. Um, yeah, I gotta show you guys something because I did some grinding off screen. Only, as you can see, the chapter started, so I saved my thing. And wait, who's that sexy snake behind me? What the fuck? Well, we're gonna go meet the demons. So uh, we just have to, you know. Go here, talk to Victor, and then we'll meet the new demons I got. <laughs> I heard the bell on the door, but if I knew it was you, I wouldn't have run here. You're welcome to purchase what we have here. Don't forget about Harumi Cho, right? Oh no, I just gotta go see Victor. <laughs> I can't believe he just like, to like totally hoofed it back. Like, yeah, I gotta meet him. Okay. So. Let's check out our demon chart. Let's first register all our lovely demons. Because, uh, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna view them. 
So, I'm just seeing here. Uh, view. Uh, whatever. So, we have Lamia. A serpentine woman from Greek mythology. She was the queen of Libya. It has a beautiful woman's torso and the snake's tail. It feeds on the blood of young men. There you go. So, we have her. And we also have... Uh, Lin Linen Sa Sade? Sade? I'm not sure how to pronounce that. I'm sorry. I'm not good at pronouncing Irish names at all. <laughs> Beautiful fairy of Irish folklore and years for yearns for love of a human man. She raised the life of our lovers in return for granting them artistic inspiration. Eh, sounds about right. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I also got uh, this buddy. Our uh, car Obo oh, wait. Oborogurma. Ob Oborogurma. Okay, a monster wheeled vehicle with the grudges of negative energy people inside. Originally, the ghost of a woman who was killed over an ox carriage took over the carriage. Oh, okay, so it's originally from, like, the ox carriage thing. Alright. And we had her, but we're gonna learn a bit about her. An insect demon that takes the form of a woman with her hands tied behind her back. If arose from the hatred of a girl named Okiku, who was falsely convicted of a crime and executed. Well, there you have it. And what's this chicken all about? Spirit of Osha. Oh, yeah, right. The burnt at the stake. Okay, cool. So we're caught up. Good, good. I already did my fusions and shit uh, when I did my grinding session. Basically, I just uh, grind, grind, grind in that one area with the maze. And then I just moved on and went back and beat the boss again. And saved at the spot. That way, you know, I'm ahead of the game. Everything is wonderful. Let's leave. Let's leave. Yay. Okay. So that was kind of the plan. I got a grinding session in. I feel comfortable with the demons I have. We're going to ride the street char to Harumicho. Let's do this. And my drink of the day is uh, mushroom coffee. It's like uh, called like Lion's Mane with Changa or something like that. It's actually quite nice. You don't need caffeine, but just want kind of like that coffee perk. It's a good alternative to crappy decaf. <laughs> ah, delicious. Excitable schoolgirl. Tall foreign men are so handsome. I'll take anyone as long as it's a foreigner. Someone, anyone, just look my way. Girl, you're thirsty. If I'm gonna enter the town. <laughs> Alrighty. Oh, I remember this part. Arumicho Kotoku. Okay, we're in the shipping district. Have a look around, I guess. Oh, hello, fellow. You came from Yaraiku. Long trip, wasn't it? If you come all this way, it would be a shame not to visit the naval headquarters. Just go up the hill right there. You can't miss it. Thank you. It's kind of you. Oh, hello. I'm gonna first get this. That looks like a fucking item that I can get. Anti-mine. Okay. There's a lot of bad blood between the local merchants and the foreign traders. They used to be thick as thieves, so I don't know what came between them. You know what's funny, though? That's a term I actually quite like for some reason. I just like the term thick as thieves. I don't know why. <laughs> well stock produce store. Rare fruits and vegetables lie on the shelf. Ba -ba -ba. It's like a turf war going on. Oh, wait. Let me talk to Ty. Let's make sure. Fuck! <laughs> okay. Um, oh, that looks like a demon I could uh, woo. I have a feeling ice is her weakness. Do you have anyone with free shot? Oh, Lamia. Okay. Yeah, buddy! Okay, cool. I got Pyrosati. Nice. Oh, I null death, though. Cool. <laughs> Good to know. 
Girl, get over here. Battle's over here. I just noticed the turduck. Go! Okay, get over here. I almost had you walk in the knives, but that's cool. So no one was near you, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. I like that I just hit null death again, even though, like, no one has that feature <laughs> at all. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> This <laughs> Brando just playing. Okay, Tai, what up? Oh wait, it's not Tai. Who are you? Matt, isn't my boyfriend so tall and slender? He's so swanky. He couldn't be a model. He could be a model. My cat's up on the shelf. I'll be back. I'm back. <laughs> All right. Just standing next to him makes me the center of attention. Okay, let's look at your tall, slender boyfriend. I'm sorry forgetting to talk right. Oh no! Let's uh, summon... Who has mind read? Do I have anyone with mind read? I do not! Okay, maybe if I ignite? <laughs> Guess we'll find out. Nope, it's probably mind read. Oh well. No mind readers. Run. I'm gonna run away. Okay! Bye. <laughs> oh, Rido, is that you? I wasn't expecting to see you. Mr. Narumi overworking you. Maybe a race is in order, hmm? Oh, me? I'm here because I was born and raised in Harumicho. Have you heard of Harada and Co? It's actually my family's business. I quit to start my job at Ryugu. I left Harada Cove to my big brother, but six months ago he died. Sank to the bottom of the sea along with his cargo. Naturally, they asked me to take over for him, but there's so many strange things happening lately. It's frustrating. We think all this monster business is over as Ginza Cho and now... Sorry, I didn't mean to ramble on like that. So, what brings you here? I assume you aren't sightseeing. If there's anything you want to know, just ask. You know what? Great! Rido explained that he became a Harumi Cho to help Kanuya's owner. That old man actually left his store to ask for help? Yes, he's been a loyal customer of ours for some time. I'm fully aware that the- uh, sorry. <coughs> I'm fully aware that the, this has been a great inconvenience for Kanuya, but... He did send out the ship just recently. If we're lucky, he'll receive his orders soon. If not... Kanuya will shut down and our reputation will follow it. Anything else you want to know? Just ask. Okay. Right now, ask about Rasputin. Rasputin. Never heard of the name before. Sorry. If there's anything, one and I keep repeating myself there. Right now, ask her elaborate on the strange things. Ah, no wonder you came to Harumicho. Starting six months ago, right after my brother died, our cargo started disappearing. We assumed it was stolen, so we posted sailors as guards. It happened again, only this time it was the sailors who disappeared. We have witnesses. Supposedly the sailors vanished in the thin air, thin air. But the police won't believe it. Not even with the sailors missing and the unaccounted for. Those men risked their lives and braved the sea to deliver that cargo. It just vanishes. I feel as though I'm shamed my family and our business. Okay, and that's about it. So let's continue. Well... No, no dirt on Rasputin. At least her story matches up with Kanoya, what Kanoya told us. Time to go back to the detective agency, plan our next move, John. Okay, well, looks like Rido has to go back to the agency. But I feel like I need to sightsee just a little more. Just to, you know, get myself acquainted to this place. Hello. The place behind the fence is a private property. No trespassers. It's surrounded by water, so you couldn't even get in if you wanted to. Okay, let's pick it up. Got a muscle drink. Unreachable from here. Okay, that's probably gonna be a demon going in there, so. Okay, great. Let's summon Sati. 
So I need to get her leveled up. This is probably a smart thing to do, honestly. Holy fuck. We gotta fight a lot of these guys, don't we? Okay, we're back. See what this fella has to say. No use asking me. Some mind readers, man. Okay, whatever. You know what? I could get a mind reader. It's fine. I have demons. Let's head back to the detective agency. Where's this lovely teleport? Oh, sweet! <laughs> okay, cool. I get like. I could just skip right to the agency. That's rad. Okay, nice. Nice, 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 nice. Welcome back, Rido. With the good word for Harumi Cho. Rido filled in Harumi on the details. So, still no dirt on Rescuting then, huh? As for the Kanye case, it's all riding and what happens in the next ship, Rado's in a fix. It's a bizarre case, that's for sure. But it doesn't seem we have anything to do with Rasputin. On the other hand, I checked with the Department of Interior about Rasputin. And didn't find anything either. There isn't a record of any foreigners named Rasputin being in Japan. But then, I had a thought. Rasputin's an illegal alien. We aren't going to find him via legal means, are we? Do you mind contacting Harugo Gumi again? Satake is well versed in the capital's seedier happenings. I think we got a chance of running that angle. At least it's best we got. What do you say, Rido? Okay, so it looks like I gotta go and uh, talk to the Yakuza guy. But I'm gonna quickly hop over to Victor's and get myself a mind reader quick. And I'll be back. Okay, we're here. We're gonna go inside. As you can see, I also got Alp. So uh, that means I got a mind reader, which is great. Young copper came around to ask about the factory. Won't look at us, he turned tail shut and please don't kill me. Rude, ain't he? <laughs> nice. The bathhouse is fine, but there's nothing like feeling an ocean breeze down at the beach. Naked, of course. Make the Buddha tattoo on my back happy, too. Ooh, but you get sand up your butt crack, so just be careful, okay, bud? Glad we had that talk. <laughs> Hey there, Kuzanoa. Working on another case? So, you want to know about Harumicho? The other day, it, it was Senjuku. Well, sorry. Senjuku. And now it's Kotaku. Detective work keeps you moving, eh? No worries about it. Here's what I know Harumicho is like a small town of merchants. This mug, Harada, used to be the big cheese of the trade industry in those parts. Then, there was really good foreign merchant. Elfman, I think. Anyway, different race or not, those two worked together and helped each other out. Real touching story, right? Anyways, then Harada died. Elfman shut out all the Japanese merchants so foreigners could rake in the claims. I don't know about this next bit, but I've heard rumors he's got friends in the military. So Elfman decides to rule the roost down there for at the moment. Eh, an illegal alien. I don't know, but it's a definite possibility. Ain't hard to sneak into the country if you got the right ship. For someone with Elfman's influence, it wouldn't be a problem at all. But then, how do you plan on proving he snuck someone in? You ask Elfman directly, you ain't getting the straight answer. Yeah, this Elfman doesn't exactly seem on the up and up. What do you think, John? Give it another. Sorry, give it a try, anyways. Hope Elfman doesn't mind if we pay him a visit. <laughs> I love that the cat just went in the shower room with him though. And no one says a thing because they're like, ah, that's cool, it's a cat. <laughs> it's Rhino's cat. <laughs> so I got Alp. She's gonna mind read shit for me, which is great. She wasn't it didn't cost me too much to get her back, so hey, it's still the same Alp I have. Cause I register my demons quite frequently. <laughs> Yeah, like, a uh, strange journey, like, I, I've just been registering, 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 and 
I should share some of my codes actually, because I got some ridiculous demons made. <laughs> oh shit, oh my god, okay. A foreign man finally talked to me the other day. Came off like a real snake, and you know? It was a foreigner. I was so thrilled. Girl! Don't fetishize. You're gonna get your heart broken. God. <laughs> oh. That girl, man. It looks like we might have to go to the Navy place, I guess. It's like right up here, I believe. Yep. Come on, Alp. Gonna go raid some mines. Oh. And hello, new friends. Oh. Give me that demon. Okay, I really need a demon. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one's gonna hit me out of it this time. Fuck! Potions, possums! I'm poisoned. Fuck! Okay, poison confirmed. Ah! Ah! Item! Anti poison on Rado. Oh, nice job, Sachi. Yay, we did it. Okay, we got ourselves a demon. I leveled up. Let's give Rido some more strength anyways. Because why not? Let's check out this ladder down here first. Ooh. Yeah, I'm gonna pick it up. Okay, an Oxbozar. It's a reservoir. Okay, that's probably gonna come in handy later, so let's just keep that in mind. Let's head up to the Navy. Oh, hello. All the unfortunate incidents lately has given this area a bad reputation. Better be careful from now on when I walk around at night. Here. Well, whatever. Let's go to the Navy. Let's visit some people. Ah! What about this butt? Hello, sir. Foreigners living here without papers? Gosh, that's illegal. You hear from me, but there's illegal immigrants all over. It's a real problem. Probably counterfeiting their visas. They can't spare the men to hunt them down. No. I don't want to see the Navy ship. Why can't I see the Navy building? Fine. Ah, God. The guy that hates foreigners. Okay. <laughs> Let's get out. Navy exits to another side. So I'm going to just investigate quick. Yeah, we sure do. Okay, cool. That's a tunnel? Uh, hold on. Oh no, you don't. Beat it, kid. It's dangerous past this point. Scary men will zap you with radio waves if you don't want that. <laughs> okay. Sure. Healthman's a good man. Thanks to him, I can make a living. But he has a filthy mind. More filthy than Nippon men. Okay. Looks like we have to go here. Or not. Never mind. My B. Guess we took a wrong turn. Okay, let's go back in. I'll find where we need to go. I'll cut back. <laughs> oh, we get to mind read this guy. Okay. A handsome guy's thoughts can be heard. What a pushover. Girls in the capital will fall over themselves for a foreign guy. In a new business suit. And this dame is just the ticket. Oh my god, girl! Escape! He's a, he's a complete chode. Oh, the Italian restaurant our special today is squid pasta with ink sauce. I've had sepia ink um, pasta before. It's quite good, actually. Let's read this guy's mind. Very just a foreigner. Thoughts can be heard. Never seen a dead body before. They told me the capital is a safe place. I ran away, far, far away. Oh dear. He's seen some shit, huh? Tanya, you left. What the hell? Oh, hold on. Ee hee hee. Thanks for working so hard on my case. Mr. Narumi already told me that the next ship is scheduled to bring my merchandise. Just finished going over the details with Miss Harada. She's confident I'll receive my merchandise at last. Just 
off the coast and they're unloading the cargo as we speak. Maybe I could finally sleep peacefully tonight. We're not in the clear just yet, though. I won't believe any until... I, oh my god, I can't read today. I'm sorry, guys. I won't believe any of it until I see the cargo with my own two eyes. If worst comes to worst, I'm not sure what I'll do. We're through the worst of it. Shouldn't take too long to unload. We'll just need to be patient a little longer. Oh boy. But we've got a problem. The cargo's gone again and sailors. They vanished too. Afraid so. Three sailors and the cargo just disappeared. And now you see them. Now you don't. But I used the money from the store to arrange for that delivery. Very sorry it didn't work out after all. No, this can't be happening. You can't do something, Rido. I can't stand seeing people cry. We really should give them a hand. If things are disappearing from this world, where do you suppose they're going to? Ah ho ho! I have to go to Shinoda or whatever. So uh, let's uh, quick teleport. Because then it's easier to get to the spot from there. I spent a lot of money to get there, man. But that's okay. You know, that's the point of the job. You gotta sometimes pay out of pocket for the convenience of public transportation. Okay, let's go. Off to Shinoda. The mystery thickens. <laughs> All right, we're back. We're ready to rock. Let's go get some items back. Let's ring that fucking bell. Okay, perform the entry. Okay, let's go. Going to Harumi Cho. Harumi Cho. <laughs> when I say it, it sounds like you're going Harumi Cho. <laughs> I was like, oh, I miss my old kitty Micho. She's a good kitty. She was such a good cat, man. I do miss Micho. <sighs> Got three. It's been like two years because uh, on June 20th was Dio Brando's birthday, but it was also Micho's death day, so it's easy to remember. Ugh. Ah, uh, help me! Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Looks like we made the right choice. Quick, we gotta save him, John. <laughs> Y'all demons. What the hell? It's messing up my shit. Okay, cool. Ow. Okay, we'll just punch this guy in the face. Oh, this is gonna be unending, isn't it? If I had a lightning guy, I think I'd be good, but... You know what? Sachi's doing a good job, though. I should heal her, though. There's... Oh, yeah! Fucking hell. Wish I had lightning, huh? Yeah, we can't come find him. I was hoping. Holy God. These guys won't quit. There we go. I can do this. Okay, I gotta heal her for sure, though. There you go, girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we did it. Yeah! Okay, cool. Oh my god. <laughs> they were unending, man. Wow, you're strong. That's quite an army got on you. 
I was hauling the cargo and everything got dark and then the monsters attacked. Became my comrades. Got separated. Hey kid, you gotta save them. You should be somewhere in this place. They need your help. Well do, sailor man. Oh, we're gonna read your mind though. <laughs> I'd be dead if it wasn't for this kid. I should do something for him in return. Hey, I could give him. Say, kid, you helped us out of jam. I'd like to give you this in return. Kids your age want all sorts of things, don't they? I think this is an allowance. Cool, thanks, guy. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna save. Because now that we're on to the mysterious cave, well, no, you know what I mean. <laughs> I just read mysterious cave on there. <laughs> Now we're on to finding where the sailors went. I think it's time and safe to say that we're going to call an end to the episode. So this is Edgy Berserker signing off on this edition of Raido Kuzanoa versus the Soulless Army. Next episode, I will see y'all later. Bye now.